Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been craving a cozy fall day filled with candles over the garden wall, pumpkin lattes obviously, and crafting. So I'm prioritizing some self-care because let's be honest, these days really are the perfect reset. And how often do we let ourselves just craft all day? So I invite you to join me, hop into something cozy, make yourself a cup of tea or coffee, and let's make some mushrooms on this fine fall day which in Southern California is very hot, actually. I'm sweating. My last project like this was creating my Animal Crossing New Horizons mushroom wreath. More mushrooms, I know, but you can never have enough. Feel free to check out that video if you haven't already. It'll be in the description down below. But taking some inspiration from that video, I wanted to see what else I could come up with. To get started, I know I want to create some little mushroom earrings. I thought these would be the perfect accessory for Ren Faire. P.S. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more Ren Faire content from me. I might have some things in the works. But I'm going to start this by drawing out some ideas, seeing what designs I like. If I like multiple, we might be making multiple. I really like this one because I want to do like a classic mushroom earring, but then I also love this because it's a little more unique and I think we can have some fun with it. So I am going to be making two after all. Let's go gather up our supplies and then we can get started. For all the DIYs in this video, I'm going to be using Sculpey oven bake clay. To start, I massaged the clay and rolled it into a ball just to make it a little more malleable. For the earrings, you're going to want a relatively small ball, roughly the size of your fingernail. Then we're going to place that on the end of a paintbrush and start pressing the paintbrush into the ball to create our mushroom cap. You can also have saran wrap around the paintbrush to help it from sticking. You'll see I do this method with and without the saran wrap throughout this video. Paintbrushes are a lifesaver when it comes to making these mushrooms. I also use this technique for the Animal Crossing one, but it was just so much easier than trying to like use your finger or just I don't know, do it. I don't even know how you would do it without it, okay? So paintbrush, all the way. You'll need two mushroom caps, roughly the same size and shape. I made four since I'm making two sets of earrings. I then carefully stuck a jewelry eye screw into the tops and just smoothed over any little imperfections this may have caused. I'm choosing to do this step before baking, so make sure you're using an oven safe metal. For the stems, I rolled out my clay into a thin log and cut it into four little sections and then smoothed out the harsh cut lines. Lastly, for our second earring design, you'll need a few more mushrooms, so I made four more mushroom caps. These four can be various styles and sizes, so long as they're about half the size of the first mushroom caps. Cut out tiny little stems for these guys as well, and then bake everything following your clay's baking instructions. Once your pieces have cooled, it's time to paint. I painted everything with their base coats unassembled. It took me about two coats. Hot glue all the caps and stems together with a small dot of glue at the tip of the stem. Then go in and add any desired details. I made sure to add a little bit of browns and imperfections so they're a little more realistic as well as white dots on the top of the red mushrooms. To assemble, you're going to need needle nose pliers to open up your earring hardware. Once it's on, close it back up and your first pair is complete. The second design is going to need a little more assembling. I have some little wood slices I'm going to use as well as some dried moss. First, I hot glued the biggest mushroom to the center of the log. 
Then I hot glued the two other mushrooms to either side of it, making sure they're not too uniform. The final step is to cover the base with some moss. Just add a little more hot glue to the top of our log and stick some more moss over top. I like to add a little more moss than necessary and then rip some pieces off once the glue has dried. I also chose to add a little detail of moss running down the side of the log. Add on the earring hardware and then you're done. Okay, I want some cuter magnets on my fridge, so I'm gonna make some. And this next DIY would work as a keychain or a pin as well. To make it a keychain, just add that little loop on the top again that we did for the earrings. And to make it a pin, you would just need to glue a pin back to it. So to create these mushroom magnets, start by rolling out the oven baked clay into a ball. Lay down a piece of saran wrap. I found this helps pick up your clay after. Then taking something that can resemble a mini rolling pin, roll out your clay into a quarter inch thick sheet. From there, I cut out a rough mushroom shape and then smoothed out all the edges and corners with my fingers. I'm also gonna point out that whenever I work with clay, I always wet it first. I don't know anything about clay but I have found that it makes it easier to manipulate, so that's just what I do. Try that out if you're finding that your clay is a little bit crumbly. The water also helps for getting rid of fingerprints on your final pieces. Put these in the oven following your clay's baking instructions. Once they're cooled off, we can paint. To make them a smooth and even surface, I'm going to sand them down a little. Any fine sandpaper should work. I do this to smooth down the edges. You can also do it to the back if you'd like. I then start with the base coat of paint, making sure to paint the edges of the magnets as well. I don't really paint the back, but if you wanna make this more aesthetic for selling or gifts, I would recommend painting the whole thing. Here's where you get to have fun with it and come up with different color palettes and designs. I started with painting the mushroom cap, afterward adding the face and a design to the top. You can also add a clear top coat, but I like mine matte, so I'm not doing that step. Grab your magnet backs and some hot glue and simply place a back onto the center of the mushroom cap and your magnet is complete. I'll mention again that here's where you can add a pin back instead if you'd like. You can also make this a keychain by adding that little eye hook to the top of the mushroom like we did for the earring. Next, we're going to add some whimsy to our house plants and garden. We all know I love miniature things, and what's cuter than a little acorn basket filled with little mushrooms? I mean, come on, people. We're gonna make two variations of these little plant accessories because I imagine they would be very cute together. Let me explain the supplies you'll need, and then we can figure out together how in the world I'm gonna make mushrooms small enough to fit inside an acorn cap. Probably my favorite DIY in this video, let's get started on our little acorn basket. We'll be making two types of mushrooms for this DIY, ones to go inside the basket and ones to stick in the ground around it. Starting with the smallest mushrooms that you'll place in the basket, I'm using the smallest paintbrush end I could find. I also made a few with this rubber tipped shaping tool. I'll link it down below. I found it was really helpful for these little ones since it had a fine tip and the rubber helped it to not stick to the clay. These are for sure the smallest mushroom caps I've made, but just be patient with it and you'll get the hang of it. For the stems, I rolled out some really thin strips of clay and cut it into various sizes. I rolled out extra and made a few length variations because I wasn't sure which size I would like best with these caps. Now I'm gonna make the basket handle. I did this by rolling out two thin strips of clay and then twisting them together until they created the desired length and thickness. Then drape it over your finger to create a U shape. 
Moving on to the plant decorations, I chose to make various sizes here, all ranging from about a dime to a quarter. The only different step here is to take some oven safe wire and roll out my clay flat. Place the wire so about an inch is sticking out of the bottom and then roll your clay around the wire until you achieve a little log shape. Repeat this with various lengths and thicknesses. Put everything in the oven and while those are baking, let's make our acorn basket. Okay, so I gathered up some acorn caps. I actually dried these ones myself. I have a blog post down below if you're interested, but pick one that's big enough to fit all our mushrooms inside. I used some wire cutters to trim off the stem and then use some sandpaper to give it a flat bottom so it'll stand up on its own. Once your clay is cooled and out of the oven, paint the mushroom tops and stems separately before gluing them together. Once the glue has dried, go in and add any more detail or desired designs to your mushrooms. I just think this idea is so cute because it's like a little fairy. Just, you know, they left their basket in your garden and there's like little mushrooms around it that they still haven't picked. It's cute, okay? It's cute. For the acorn basket, start by gluing the handle to the inside of the acorn top. Add some glue to the bottom and place moss inside the basket. Once that has fully dried, apply some tacky glue to one side of your mushroom and carefully lay it on top of the moss. Continue this process until all your mushrooms are placed inside. Once your basket is complete, place it on your bookshelf or decorate your garden accompanied by its mushroom friends. Lastly, I'm going to make some hanging mushrooms that aren't mini. I mean, they're still pretty small, but compared to that last one, they're, they're not small. But this is basically a mushroom ornament, and since it's gonna be a bit bigger, I wanted to make it a little more realistic, a little more detailed. For the ornaments, I sculpt my clay using a bigger tool. You can use a makeup brush, I use the end of a water dropper, and I also use my finger. These are the biggest mushrooms in this DIY, so you're gonna start off with a bigger ball of clay, play around with the shape, and brushing up the edges of the cap with your finger. To create this double layer, I just made a smaller mushroom cap, flattened the top, and brushed the edges up so they slightly curl. I then made a thicker mushroom stem to place underneath, and a little spacer atop our stem so this second layer is visible. If you wanna skip making the second layer, you can just make the stems how we have before. Just make sure they are thicker to match the size of your mushroom cap. Now here is also where I would add your eye hook before baking, but I honestly forgot, so I screwed them in later and that seemed to work fine as well, so the choice is up to you. Bake everything and after it's cooled, I go in and add the base coats as well as those eye screws I mentioned. Glue your stems and caps together using hot glue and add a little more detail to these mushrooms. I always make sure to paint over any hot glue that's showing with a few coats. To add more depth to these mushrooms, I added shades of brown to the stems and painted the tops with the lighter color at the top, then made a gradient down to a darker shade. I also do little brush strokes on the side of the mushroom caps to give a little more dimension. I follow this painting combination for all the DIYs, but I explain it here since it's easiest to see on a bigger scale. The last red mushroom is an example of what a mushroom will look like with no shading. Still super cute, but the look is more animated than realistic, so it's really up to what look you're going for. Again, play around with it and have fun. Final step is to add some string through the hoop and hang it wherever you'd like. I think this would be adorable if you made a bunch of these and created a garland out of it. I'm 
I'm loving how these turned out. I'm already thinking of ways to use them around the house. I know we're talking about fall here, but I'm definitely hanging that mushroom on my Christmas tree this year. And I'm already using the magnets to hang up pictures of my cat on my fridge. So, I mean, highest, highest honor hanging pictures of my cat, truly. But if you recreate any of these DIYs, feel free to share them with me on social media, tag me at jamiephoto, use the hashtag jamiephotodiy. I love sharing all of your recreations. Let's chat in the comments about what you're most looking forward to this fall season. And thank you again for stopping by my little corner of the internet. If you like it here, feel free to stick around by subscribing, hit that notification bell. I hope y'all have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye.